Yeah, so there we go. You can see all the nice fissuring on the ground from the crackle paste. Any more in the in the crater? Well, anyway, today's the day to start staining, maybe scrubbing it a little bit and staining it to uh, highlight the fissures and then get some uh, clear tar gel on it to seal it all down. Or maybe I'll use a, a gel medium. Try to avoid the really glossy surface and keep reworking the, uh, the clip. But that's our update. All right, so what I've done here is to mix up a slurry a micaceous iron oxide, a drop of iridescent copper light, and taking a, a hint from Operation Moonbase, some of this green gold, just like two or three drops of it. Operation Moonbase by Mark's Toys had this incredible vacuum formed mountain, and the primary colors used for it was a sort of olive green, and it's just the most wonderful thing in the world. The seedling in purpose. And what I want to do is just get back to the same thing. I'm going to get back to the same thing. I'm going to get back to the same thing. I'm going to get back to the same thing. I'm going to get back to the same thing. I'm going to get back to the same thing. I'm going to get back to the same thing. I'm going to get back to the same thing. I'm going to get back to the same thing. I'm going to get back to the same thing. I'm going to get back to the same thing. I'm going to get back to the same thing. Terrainy Operation Moon Base Green Muck. Alright, so that's what I ended up. I did do a little bit of, of, of intentional brushwork. I want the meteors to all have a sparkle for sure. Uh, and we'll see how much of it peels like right off of the of the clay surface. But it was in an effort mainly to blend the two surfaces together, so that it's just not a conscious boundary between them. And smaller, I don't have any smaller pieces up here right now. Here's, here, here are the. Here, here are these guys after, I guess, 48 hours since treatment. I like that one the best. And I made a big mistake and went and tried to put some detailing around the sides of the helmets. I'm sure the camera is more forgiving than, than my sense of right and wrong. But I, it, 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 they look overpainted now uh, in, in the attempt to touch it up. So the, the freshness of some of them... That is is getting lost, but I did do one other dude up because uh, these guys all have helmets as part of the casting. So you know what? He, what's he running around without a faceplate on? How's that gonna help? Oh, and then there's others who don't have helmets that would not contain oxygen pressure, but that's that's neither here nor there. You know, safety, is safety. But if these guys are gonna be in, in out there in outer space, you know. You gotta make sure they got a face plate on. Some of them work better than others. Yeah, his nose is kind of sticking through. And maybe it should get a, 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 a second layer, yeah. Uh, but but the, the, the point is is that I think this is as clear as they're gonna dry out to be. So I like that one. I like how it does look kind of foggy. You know, it, 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 what do you do when you work up, work up a sweat in a spacesuit? And and they definitely, both for the Apollo EVA suits, they had a way of containing uh, body heat and stuff like that. But this is just a skin tight flight suit. You'd fog up that that faceplate in in, in in a minute if you didn't have the right kind of ventilation calculation. Yeah, I lost my nerve. 
and went, just went through with a rag and wiped a lot of it off. The main reason to stain it is to, to bring out the fissures, unify the surfaces as we go along. And I'm pleased. It's, after I'm going to let it dry, then I'm going to go over it with a uh, acrylic gel of some sort. Fix it down. All right, so what I want to do, this is my uh, Max Action Commando Series Army Man set. Most interesting part of which is the lid, which is shaped like a readout trench. That's cool. That's cool. Um, but I'm going to pull one of these tanks out. And what I want to do is not so much replicate that, but use it as a departure point. This is from my Mark's Lunar Exploration Miniature Playset. I believe it's from 1968. And essentially it's a chassis from a Patton tank with a, the gun turret removed and this bubble housing, which includes half of a dude stuck in there and so i'm hoping that i can more or less without damaging it oh well there we go and then here's here's a, a bubble from one of the uh gumball machine guys i got and we can see that it's it's too big i'm gonna need a dome that's smaller radar dish i've got little bits of, of broken bling that could do that but that's something that i want to see for this uh, diorama project. I want it to have a space tank. Radar tank. That works. Just a piece of stuff from my box of uh, plastic playset parts, I call them, although they're not. They're just bits of stuff that have turned up in lot purchases over the months. It's just going to fall off if I move it, but... That's cool. Even just like that. And then paint it all white. But that 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 that's what I'm I'm thinking about. I need I want to futurize it and have this chassis. And I got another one in there too, so wow, I'm excited. We can do this. It's different though, and it's like a telemetry vehicle, I guess. Oh man. Get a little yellow. So what I want to do is take some of this interference blue quartz and add some uh, blue highlights to it. You just brush it on. This will sound good. All right, so the lighting in this room is, is atrocious, but that's cool. A couple of uh, cake decoration rocket pieces made in Hong Kong, copies of LP Toys Checker Rockets. And instantly it, it becomes enormous. Spaceman felt a little bit tight where the big one did. Try it with some uh, smaller pieces later. And I'm working on the, the surface. I just went over it with the light interference blue to get sort of a moon glow. It's a little yellow, but I'm going to work on it. I have a vision. All right, here we are, end of day form. I did go back in with some cobalt blue to just beat down that yellow a little bit. There's our space tank with a medicine cap as sort of a turret skirt. It's a little bit more hardware-ish. And we picked out some golden astronauts and some uh, giant copies and they're about the right scale. That feels right. This is the angle here. 
that's just dude that's cool like there's your space art right there oh yeah that's dried glass bead gel I had a jar of it that the lid hadn't been screwed on right so I pulled out clumps of it and tried to use it to make it look like meteorite deposit or magma flow awesome I want to make another and and this isn't the final configuration either I'm just enjoying it something I've wanted to see for months months